Jordan from Appaday, and um, we're talking about sustainable transportation today. Uh, bikes, very sustainable. Um, Aeroplanes, not so sustainable, but still very useful and very necessary. Um, but what we've just come from is London where we've been looking at sustainable innovations in transport and how to communicate this. There is some fascinating stuff happening uh, all across Europe and in London we saw some really fantastic work happening with extending the bicycle networks where a billion pounds is being invested into it and looking at how we can improve uh, the way transport is managed in the town and in London through low carbon neighborhoods and ultra low emission vehicles, ULEVs. Really interesting stuff happening there. There's 366% more ULEVs registered in 2015 than there was in 2014. That's over 9,000 new cars. Incredible stuff happening. Uh, the Mayor of London is moving to, to use hydrogen buses uh, across the city and there's some really wonderful things around how you're telling the story. Uh, GoUltraLow.com is an interesting website that allows you to go on there and see what you'd like from an electric vehicle and change how many passengers you have and, and how much luggage you'll have, how far you want to go and it narrows it down uh, all the way from uh, the zippy little Renault Twizy all the way up to the BMW i8 which is an amazing supercharged supercar that is a hybrid. How do we get this message across? Because this is just technology. Well, there's two ways of doing this. The American Psychological Association did research on this that showed if you want someone to do something positive, you've got to make them see that it's a social norm, that everyone else is doing it, why aren't you? But if you want someone to not do something, you've got to just tell it clearly. So there's some takeaways we can make for this for environmental communications. The first one is that we have got to tell the co-benefits of the story. So when we're talking about low emissions vehicles and we're talking about making low carbon transportation, we've got to tell why that's important for humans. Why is it important for us in terms of making it safer, making it cleaner, making it easier and more economic. Secondly, we've got to tell this story and show how many other people are doing it. And this is where information communication technologies are so important, social media, in sharing why and how other people are taking this on board to get that social norm up and running. And finally, we've got to make it really clear. When things aren't working, when the emissions are too high, when the transportation system isn't working properly, we need to make sure that we say to companies and to governments uh, and to, to on social media and to the rest of the world, this is not the way to do it. This is what we have to change. And we can start changing other people's behavior by being really clear about that. We've got a long way to go, but the best thing to do is to keep telling the story of how sustainable transportation can really change the future. I'm Adam from Appaday here in Frankfurt.